Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Please forgive my trainer for being a little loud and annoying. I know it is, I know. My goals are to get a stationary bike, an elliptical, and a treadmill. Trying to get versatile, trying to do a few different things in my uh, daily life to spice things up a little bit. So this video is this video is kind of a bittersweet, not really, but kind of bittersweet. I decided yesterday that I'm pretty much done with cycling on the road. Uh, it's something I've been contemplating for a long time now. And yesterday it just felt right to go ahead and make the decision. Uh, it's a few different things that's led me to this. Number one is time restraint. Now I have a lot of time during my day. I am a bus driver so I don't have a huge long work day. But I'm one of those people that do stuff mostly in the afternoon. So when I get home from my afternoon bus route it's about 3.15. If I take off at 3.30 on the bike, then I'm gone at least until 4.30. Then, I gotta walk. I walk every day. And that's gonna be anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on the distance I go. Then, I work out. And that's gonna be, you know, a good 30 minutes. Uh, working out if not you know a little bit longer it just depends on the day it depends on what I'm doing you add those times up that's a long time you know uh, especially when you wait till the afternoon to do a lot of stuff like I tend to do so my decision it's raining I think I don't know yeah, it is raining. So my decision is really based around a lot of those, you know, a lot of that issue. Yeah, it is raining. And, hey, I don't have to deal with the weather anymore. Uh, the uncertainties of Mother Nature. I, I feel like I've accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish from cycling. The only thing I didn't do is do a, a bike tour or a bike packing. I didn't do that, but that don't mean I never will. Uh, I'm not completely, you know, off the bike. I'm going to be using it for my stationary bike for now. And uh, I will ride around the neighborhood, you know, with my grandkids if they ever come over and, you know, start riding. And I figure, you know, I can always pack up and, you know, go to a, a bike-friendly trail somewhere where it's safe and it's scenic, something really nice, you know. I can do stuff like that periodically. So, uh, I'm not totally out of the scene, it's just I'm not using it every day for my cardio, my workout, you know, my main you know, fat burning, stay active kind of activity. Eventually I want to get three pieces of equipment, and I already mentioned it, I'm, I believe. I want to get an elliptical machine, a treadmill, and a stationary bike. That way I can do, you know, like 10 minute intervals on each machine, get a little different feel on each different machine, 
mix things up, keep things interesting. Uh, I do still walk every day out here in my neighborhood. I'm not going to stop doing that. I enjoy doing that. Another reason, I mentioned time uh, that it takes, but another reason I'm wanting to go ahead and get off the road is I feel like I've been lucky over the past five and a half years to not get run over. There's a, a lot of times, almost every day, out here on my main road that I go to, uh, Jackson Drive. If you watch my video, it's the road I turn on right as I come out of my neighborhood. Uh, that road has quick, blind little hills all down the road. And people will pass and go around me on the hills, speeding, oncoming cars having to stop, slow down, pull over. I mean, I've never been hit 500 times on that road. And it's just, it's one of those things that I'm trying to, you know, I've tried to debate on, is it worth it? And really, at the end of the day, it's not worth it anymore. Um, you know, I grew up on bicycles, and into my 20s, uh, I even I even bought a, a new BMX uh, GT Performer uh, as a young adult. Uh, it was in 1994 when I bought that, and I rode that around a little bit, enjoyed myself just for a short time. And then all through my 20s and all that, I really wanted to experience cycling, you know, but I never did until I ended up buying a, a used road bike in the early 2000s. I think it was a Schwinn Varsity, and it looked like it was probably 20 years old when I bought it. I don't know how old it was. But I rode it around a little bit around the neighborhood that we used to live in. And I'd go down the road once in a while, once a month, once every six months. <laughs> you know, I'd go down the road probably a mile or two and turn around and come back. So I was dipping my toes in it way back then. And uh, I even put that on a, a little trainer that I had at the time, and I used it in my gym back then at the time. But I still never really did cycling. And then finally, February 2016, uh, on the 11th, I went and picked up this bike from Bike World in Paducah, Kentucky. And this bike started my journey to help heal my mind, body, and soul and to try to give me some sense of freedom and expression and uh, take me on that journey that I've been wanting to go on for so long. And I've been riding this bike ever since. I did buy another road bike um, later that year, uh, like on my birthday in 2016. I got a used Trek FX 7.3, and I rode it quite a bit. But it's been it's been broken down, and I haven't ridden it in you know a couple of years or so now, at least. But I was riding these, you know, I'd kind of switch them up once in a while, ride one and ride the other. And, but this has been my main bike all along. Then in 2017, like the end of May 2017, I got a GT Pantera Comp, a new one. Bought that new. And I rode it for about three years, just a little bit. I only had like 300 miles on it. I might have just broke 300 miles, and then I sold it in 2020 after three years, and uh, just over three years. 
I think I sold it in October of 2020 or November 2020. And I got a good price for it. And uh, I don't regret selling it. But I've kept this one. I've replaced parts on it. You know, wheels and drivetrains and all that stuff. And this has been my 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 little lifesaver. This has been my baby. And I'll keep it until the day I die. So you know I'm done, like I said, I'm done cycling on the daily. But like I said, there might be a a time when I take it out to a, a nice trail or a path, you know, that's made for cycling and, you know, where, where I don't have to worry about stuff. And you never know, one day I might get to do a, a bike tour and I might use this bike. Who knows? That's really the one thing on my list that I didn't accomplish. I rode my first century back in uh, early 2017 after only riding for a year on this bike. No, not this bike. I used the Trek 7.3. That one. I've gotten in a lot of miles, a lot of experience. I've had some good times, but don't don't be mistaken. Usually, you know, for me anyway, cycling hasn't been about lots of happiness and smiling and enjoying. It's a lot of hard work out there, uh, both physically and mentally. Uh, there's been many many days that I've left here uh, almost wanting to throw up because I didn't want to go out. But I went. Hot weather, cold weather, and everything in between. Getting completely drenched uh, from rain to having ice frozen in my beard. <laughs> so, I've been there and done it, and I can say that I've lived the life a little bit Maybe on an unorthodox bike and an unorthodox way of dressing, but that's not what makes a cyclist. Getting out there and putting in the road work, you know, at least two or three times a week. A couple times a week, I would say bare minimum. But I've always tried to put in a lot more than that. But I'm feeling pretty good about my decision. I just need to keep focused. And I think uh, I think one difficult thing is, you know, you're no longer associated as a cyclist, or you know, looked at as someone who rides. And I've enjoyed that. I've had, you know, conversations and, you know, stuff like that over the years. Just from being a cyclist, you know, from people that don't cycle to other cyclists, you know. So, it's kind of a, it's kind of one of those groups. Like you ride motorcycles or something like that. You're kind of in a group. Not that I'm really in a group per se. I've always ridden by myself. I've only I've only ridden with someone probably five times out of the five and a half years I've been riding. So it's all been kind of my journey by myself. And again, I apologize for the loud trainer. It is annoying, but. It don't really bother me anymore.
The one thing about spinning at home is I'm at home. You know, I don't have to take off and be gone for an hour or more. So I'm here in the comfort of my house or outside of my house. I come out here the last few days because it gives me the heat and the humidity that you don't get when you're inside. You're sitting in an air-conditioned house with a fan blowing on you. It's not quite the same experience. So, I've been coming out here and uh, spinning and sweating a whole lot more. And I'll do the same thing in the winter months. I'll come out here and freeze. Really, this video isn't so much about me spinning as it is just kind of letting my people know and you know kind of a video documentation you know of my you know getting out of cyclone it's uh I don't feel like a loser I don't feel like a quitter because I put in time I put in effort and I'm still going. It's just a different way of doing it. So I don't feel too bad as far as that's concerned. I've also hooked up my dance pad. I made a, a DDR, if anybody knows what DDR is. I hooked that back up yesterday or day before and got my program going on my computer and all that stuff. So I'm going to add that in as a more fun element to my routine. You know, you can do, I can dance like three songs, sit at my desk and chill for a minute, dance three songs, sit down, you know, and kind of uh, work it in there into my routine. And have fun with it so it's uh, there's a lot of passion and love for that game and if you never tried it you ought to try it. and I am looking at building uh, two new pads eventually and I've been wanting to build new dance pads for years You know, you gotta, if you're gonna work out and be active in that, you need to keep it kind of interesting and fun. So having a variety of things to get you going is, uh, is a smart thing to do. Now typically, a lot of times I'll take off one day a week from my activities, but looks like I'm gonna go ahead and do seven days today would typically be a day that I might would take off if I chose to but I figured why not you know that don't mean I'm gonna do all my activities but come out here spin for 30 minutes at least I'll probably still do a walk uh, I might not hit the weights today but I'm definitely going to hit the dance pad. So I hope, I hope you guys will stick with me. Even though, you know, I'm not giving you a weekly cycling video or anything like that. I hope those of you that are came to my channel for the cycling will stick around at least for the other things because I'll still do some spinning videos and you know other stuff I think I, there's a whole lot more to me than cycling 
and if you watch my videos, you know that. This trainer doesn't have a whole lot of resistance to it. It has a cable that you can hook up to it that supposedly gives you more resistance, but I don't know how to get it working. So I tightened up the, the spinning wheel, the little wheel part. I tightened it up pretty tight against my tire. And I don't know if that's giving me any more resistance or not. I don't know if it's making it louder or not, but eh, I did it anyway. I didn't tighten it up a whole lot tighter than normal, but I snugged it up a little bit. Plus wearing sweatpants. It'll make me sweat more. upload a video yesterday of me on my dance pad. Go back and look at that. Check that out. It's fun. It'll kind of give you an idea of what I got going on. That's actually the fifth dance pad that I've ever built. Uh, I built two in the beginning and then I sold those and I built two more and I've sold those and then I built this and like right after selling it's been years ago years I guess I'm going to video the whole entire spin today. I hope I inspire everyone every day to do something that you enjoy, not just exercise oriented, but fun. Something you love, you have a passion for. Whether it's video games or walking or playing darts or Reading a book, or coloring, photography, cooking, opening up about yourself and having discussions, letting people know you. If you go and look at my playlist, you'll see that I, I do a lot of stuff. I even do movie and TV you know, uh, discussions and stuff like that. I, I, I try to keep things interesting and show people uh, the other things that I'm interested in. Because there's a, lot, a whole lot more to me than just pedaling on a bike. Or just working out. Or walking. There's a lot more to me. It's raining pretty good. Heck, I might go walk in the rain. See where I'm at. I haven't even looked. Got five minutes left, guys. Five minutes. Kind of weird. Haven't looked at the time the whole time and then pick it up and it's like five minutes. 
things are never used. People buy these things and think they're going to use them. They don't use nothing. <laughs> use it for a clothes hanger. And you can find treadmills on the marketplace for $100 and less all the time. I'm always seeing them. I just haven't pulled the plug yet and went to go get anything. Stationary bikes, a good one. It's hard to find good, good ones on the marketplace for a, for a cheap price. You can get the budget ones, you know, for $150 to maybe $100 all the time. But getting a good one is not easy. So I'm kind of a big guy, and I need one that's a little bit more robust. I want to make sure it has a nice heavy flywheel and belt drive and... I'd rather have the magnetic resistance on it instead of, you know, like like brake pads and stuff that, or whatever that slow them down. Well, at least it's cooled down just a hair since the rain moved in. But I'm almost done. Two minutes and fifteen seconds left. I recommend if you're going to spin or you got a stationary bike or, you know, like this where it's on the trainer or something like that, I say put it outside because you do at least get the heat and the humidity and, you know, you'll get the cold and all that stuff and it gives you a little bit better uh, realism rather than just staying inside. Shoot a video, share it with the world, inspire people, guys. Thirty minutes of Mikey Sin spinning. like some little two pound dumbbells I'd like to eventually do some live streaming every morning um, like my whole fitness routine help people and inspire people and you know a lot of people need someone there with them before they're gonna do anything and I'd like to be that person there you go 30 minutes guys
All right. Woo. Good job. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I give you a little bit of inspiration. I hope that uh, you stand behind me in my decision uh, to not cycle anymore, but to do it a different way. All right, guys, check out my playlist. All kind of videos in there that you're gonna enjoy. You're gonna find something. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And when you've done that, go check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Okay, like, share, subscribe to that channel as well. <sighs> Don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and sling sweat off your arm while you're doing it. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, guys. And you go get your pedal on, or your walk on, or your weights on, or your whatever on. Go do it, guys. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!